Welcome to Siksha Maths Academy. Next up, see the continuation of fifth of some complex numbers. If the amplitude of z minus 2 by z minus 6 i is equal to 5 by 2, find its locus. This is the question. Okay. Now, here solution is first let z is equal to x plus i by. Now to take this is our consideration. Assumption z is equal to x plus i by. Okay. Now first to take this part z minus 2 by z minus 6 i amplitude of first I am taking z minus 2 by z minus 6 i okay z minus 2 by z minus 6, 6 i so what is the z value our assumption is x plus i y so x plus i y minus 2 by x plus i y minus 6 i okay take the real part please 1 bracket x minus 2 and imaginary part by x plus i is taken as common y minus 6 okay now rationalizing with denominator uh, x minus i into y minus 6 by x minus i into y minus 6 okay that is equal to multiplication x minus 2 into x so x into x minus 2 x, x minus 2 into i into y minus 6 minus i into y minus 6 into x minus 2 next uh, x ma uh, again with multiplication with y plus i x y i y into i into y minus x see here i y into minus i into y minus x i into i minus i square next to y into y minus 6 y into y minus 6 by see the denominator is in the form of a plus b into a minus b so what is the formula of a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square so x square minus i into y minus 6 whole square that is equal to again multiplication x into x x square minus 2 into x minus 2x next minus i into multiplication multiplies two brackets x into y x y minus 2y minus 6 into x minus 6x six, six, minus 6 minus 2 okay plus 12 plus i x y see here i square value is minus 1 i square is equal to minus 1 so minus into minus plus y into y y square minus 6 into y minus 6 y by x square this i square i square uh, minus 1 minus into minus plus uh, y minus 6 whole square right as it is now take the real part real part is taking one bracket so what is the real part x square minus 2x y square minus 6 y okay <coughs> x square x square minus 2x plus y square minus 6y plus uh, i is taken as common imaginary part minus i xy minus 2y mm, plus 6x plus 12 okay and this one also minus is taken as common so minus 6 y by denominator x square plus y minus 6 whole square plus x y minus x y gets cancelled so the remaining value is x square minus 2 x plus y square minus 6 y minus i into minus 2y plus 6x plus 12 by x square plus y minus 6 whole square okay now see the question what is the given question amplitude of z minus 2 by z minus 6 i is equal to pi by 2 now i'm writing the question amplitude of amplitude of z minus 2 by 
जेड माइनस सिक्स आई इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाई टू सो वो इज अ फॉर्मुला ऑफ एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ जेड माइनस टू बाई जेड माइनस सिक्स आई सो फॉर्मुला इज टेन इनवर्स ऑफ बी बाई ए दैट इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाई टू कंसिडर दिस पार्ट इज रियल पार्ट इज ए एंड इमेजनरी पार्ट इज बी ओके सो माइनस ऑफ एम्पलीट ऑफ माई माइनस बी बाई ए दिस टेन इनवर्स सेंड दैट साइड b by a is equal to tan ninety. Tan ninety. Next b value minus of minus of minus two y minus six x plus twelve by real part x square plus y square minus two x minus six y is equal to. What is the tan ninety value? Tan ninety is undefined infinity. So this infinity can be written as one by zero. I am writing infinity. Can I write? So infinity value one by zero. Why? Because tan ninety. Tan ninety value is undefined. Infinity. So cross multiplication. This value is zero. So we we'll get x square plus y square one into minus two x minus six y is equal to zero. So locus x locus of t is x square plus y square minus two x minus six y is equal to zero. This model is very very important for four marks. Okay, if you like the video, like and share and subscribe.